Cause at the end of the day, I'm worried until the day I die, bro. Yeah, all right, all right. I'm a model, big dog. War eagle fight on the field. <laughs> yeah. When they say good, they say what's your rookie talent is? The fight song, baby. I'm gonna give it to them. Everybody gonna make me mad up in there, cause they better sing along with me. They better sing along with me. <laughs> Every day when I woke up in Auburn, um, I have this picture of my mother. Like every day I wake up, I see it. You know, so every day I know what I'm doing it for. Her hard work is paying off. You know what I mean? What she instilled in me from day one. That was a big adjustment for Marlon. So when he did go to Auburn, it was great that Kenny was there because Marlon rolled early. You know, and Kenny was good for him. He was there to help him through it, walk through it, because he went through it. He was that other father figure that I needed while I was at school. I needed that person to work my nerves. I needed that person to tell me that I was wrong. I needed that person to be in my life at that moment. I thought I was so good. I really did. The first day I passed, I went against, um, uh, I think it was Jordan Diamond, and he destroyed me. And at that moment, I was like, man, this can't be real. I never lost this bad before. Nico Gio, he, he was trying to hurt my, hurt my spirit. He was like, um, he, said, what he said, he said, you just got whooped by the worst player in Auburn history. I was like, wow, am I this bad? <laughs> and I was like, man, they got, it's all got to change. So at that moment, I started trying to take my game to another level. Koji always told me, he was like, I'm not gonna say that it's gonna be easy. I'm not gonna say that you're gonna come in and start the first day. I'm not gonna say you're gonna be a four-year starter. You determine that. I was like, yes, sir. He said, if you wanna come play at a great school, you come play. But if you wanna go around there and let people blow smoke up your tail, then go somewhere else. But he always kept it real for me from the jump. Uh, he had a very good spring. He got here early, and any time a freshman gets, uh, gets early, they got a chance to show what they can do. Uh, made uh, an immediate impact in the spring that's carried over in fall camp and uh, he's got opportunity to uh, to start as a true freshman which is rare. As soon as he named the start it was already over with. Hey, well, I wasn't giving that back up. Cause you give it back up and I mean you know jobs in the air. Shoot if I got it shoot that job ain't nowhere to be found. You know you might as well just go ahead and go try to take somebody else's spot bro. Hey man, it's a blessing, man. Um, blessing from God and blessing from my coaches to actually have faith in me to come out here and play at an SEC level and just play against great competition around the world. Well, after I hit the quarterback, I'm gonna help him up and I'm like, I'll be right back. That's not really like trash talk. They're just telling them the truth. You know what I'm saying? They're just telling people like you're not better than me. Like, bro, you're not good. Man, me and Derek probably had the most fights out of anybody that I ever had. Cause like I used to, I used to mess with Derek a ton. You know what I mean, a ton. First time I met Derek was at a football camp, um, Robert's football camp. I was competing against him. He was, uh, he was the talk of the day. I actually won the MVP there, so you know what I'm saying. Uh, tell me what you like and admire about Marlon as a player. You played with him for a long time now. Uh, I mean. A lot of y'all men I know, but like Marlon, he got serious like anger issues. So I mean, I, I think it's funny to get him going like before the game. Like, why are you trying? You're not even gonna get no sack today. And then like he gets mad, and I'm like, yeah, there we go. And <laughs> well, I started poking fun at him. When was that? Florida. When he fell, say he was too fat. Short drop, pressure, throws the ball is loose. Ball is loose. Derek Brown picks it up. He's going the other way for Auburn. Derek Brown at the 40. He's the midfield. Brown to the 40. Five and falls down. Oh, I said that that started a long train of fat jokes for the both of us. So it just, I mean, like I told you, man, we was about having fun. You know what I mean? 
I mean, me and Derek had a great relationship. Um, me and him will always be brothers. He's still the fat dude on the team. Always will be. But Derek, man, he's, he's a remarkable player. He really is. And I mean, every day I, I try to take my game to another level. Because if I didn't, I knew he would surpass me. And I mean, it won't end here. It won't end here. It'll just be a competition, you know, continues forever, I feel like. I was ready to leave. Like, I was ready to leave. I was ready to you know, provide for my family, ready to go get the fast cash, want to go do it all. But man, my oldest brother, Terrence Carter, then I asked him, I was like, man, could you wait another year for me to make it? Could you possibly wait? He said, man, if you got to do it again, bro, I'll be right here and I'll be waiting on you. And that made my decision so much more easier to come back to Auburn. Because I mean, everything I do is for my brothers. Because that's the only thing I know. In my household, is me, my mom, and my brothers. You know what I mean? Like, we was, a, we was a group. You know what I mean? Nothing can break us up. Nothing can tear us apart. And I mean, um, you know, Ben, hearing him say that, him and my brother Barber said the same thing, too. Yeah, it made my decision a whole lot easier. And then just hearing my mom saying, you better get that degree, I was good. <laughs> you know what I mean? That was, that was a, 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 a big thing, too. We don't need a miracle in Jordan How We just need us, man. Hey. Hey, look, fight for your brother. Talk to him, three. Hey. Talk to him, hey. three. This shit all about us, guys. Hey, it's all about us. It's all we ride today, man. We ride today for all for the seniors. So, it's all about us today, man. We're going to turn this thing up today. Yeah. We're going to do it big today. Yeah. They going down today. All, baby, we got ride on three, ride on three. One, two, three. Ride. I feel like my time at Auburn was fun. I feel like I got a lot out of it. I made brothers. Instead of just friends, I made brothers. They took one of my sacks away from me and gave it to Derek. Punk. You know, they gave it to him. But it's all good, though. We're going we gonna to fix that up a little later on. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to find out who did that. You know, we got to have a little conversation. <laughs> but, yeah. They just learned that you left a legacy there. That's a good thing. You know, like, I will always be remembered. You know what I mean? Being an All-American, I will always be remembered. Look at the fans! Look at that fan! Look at the fans! I'm happy, man. I'm happy. You made the decision to come back to Auburn for your senior year. Does this make that worth it? Everything's worth it, man. We just beat Bama. Down goes Bama.